What if I told you you could cut down on the amount of emails that you receive in regards to your job form submissions, but still get the necessary information that you need? Well, introducing digest emails. Hey, job formers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and you heard me right. It is official. We finally have intuitive, customizable, and most importantly, native to Jotform Digest emails. And it really is extremely simple to set up. So let me walk you through how to do that right now. Now from my dashboard, there are actually three different ways to get this digest started. The first way is let's say I want this one form to be in a digest. Once I click it up at the very top, you can see now we have a reports option. So if I click on reports, we're gonna add a new report and right here in the middle, we have digest emails. If I click on this, it's gonna take us to create that digest. Now, let's head back to my dashboard to show those other ways. Now, another way that we can do this is I can hover over any of my forms, then on the far right-hand side, if we choose more, then look at the data column. If we go down to the bottom, we have right here, create a digest email. Now, if you're like me and you would like a digest email of multiple or all of your forms, you can do that as well. So as of right now, we have the catalog request form chosen. If I come and I choose another form or all of my forms, we can see now up at the top, instead of reports, we have create a new digest. So let's go ahead and create a new digest. So from here, the very first thing is we need to name our digest. Now I personally want mine daily, so I'm gonna go ahead and name my digest daily digest. And then the next section down is going to be recipients. Now, if you are on a starter plan or any of our free plans, you will only be able to add one recipient. If you're on any of our paid plans, you'll be able to enter up to 10 recipients. Now, next up, we have the date settings. First up, we have how often do you wanna get this email? Do you want it daily? weekly or monthly. And like I said, I definitely want mine daily. And now we get to choose that send date. So we have Monday to Friday, so just the weekdays. We have Saturday to Sunday, just the weekend. Or if we want it every single day, we're gonna choose Monday through Sunday. And the next you get to choose when you want that email to show up in your inbox and of course your time zone. Now from here, let's go ahead and build out how our digest is going to look by clicking next. Now. If for any reason you feel like you need to change from daily to weekly or the time you get that email, all you need to do is come into the top right-hand corner, this gear, and it's gonna bring you right back to that digest settings option. Now, once we get to this page, just keep in mind that we're not going to see any data. This is just going to be for us to build out how we want this to look. As you remember, we added two forms, the catalog request and then the generic form. If you get to this piece and you say, you know what? I wanna add more forms or all of my forms. There are two different ways that we can do that. The top left-hand corner, we can choose to add forms here and we can add that picture attachment. Or if we scroll all the way down to the very bottom, we have add forms right here. So let's go ahead and add in that picture attachment as well. And one good thing is there's no limit to the amount of forms that you can add to your digest. So let's go ahead and scroll back up to the top and let's start customizing this to make this fit us. Now, each section is clickable. So let's go ahead and click this very top section. We'll choose the gear and we can see that this is called the welcome section. Now, if we want, we can delete the entire welcome section if we wanna get rid of it completely. But over here on the right, we can see we can toggle on and off to make this more customized to us. So if we wanna turn off that title, we can. If we wanna turn off the number of new submissions and we can also turn off the most submitted form. So I wanna get all that information, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn all of that back on. Now, if we X out of this, next we get to really build out what we want this digest to look like as far as the forms go. What data do we want? So if I click on this very first one, one. This is the catalog request form. If I want it to be in a different order, all I need to do is just choose these up and down. So let's say I want the catalog request to be second. I can just push it down and it goes to that second spot. So while we're on catalog request, let's go ahead and choose that gear. And we have that similar feel to that welcome screen. Do we wanna to toggle on and off the overview? We can toggle that off so we get to have that all taken away. And that's gonna be the new submissions, and the total number of submissions, but I want that. I want that information in my digest. And next we have the view submissions button. So if we want to be able to go straight to these submissions from our digest email, we can leave that on. But again, 
we can turn that off if we don't want it. Now, next up is going to be the charts. Now, if you have a field within your form that supports being a chart, it's gonna show up here and we can edit how that looks like. Right now it is a column or we can have it a bar going across. And do we want the data table to be included, which is gonna be these percents down here. We can turn that off or on. I definitely wanna see those percentages. And then we get to see how we want that data sorted. Would we want it high to low, low to high, or alphabetical? And I'm good with high to low, so we're good there. And then the last one is going to be submissions. So at the top, if we really just want this to be a bird's eye view, just get that top end data, we can turn off the submission list. So right now we can see we have one submission, two submission, three. We can turn these off and it really just shortens that up for us. And if there are any empty fields, we can turn those off as well. But for me, I kind of want to see what that data is going to look like. Now, next we can title the submission. And as of right now, it is the name. So we can see right here, the person's name is going to be right here. And it's going to automatically populate with three fields. Now you can add up to two more for a total of five. So if you want to have that submission ID or maybe the last date update, you can add up to those five. For me, I'm going to go ahead and leave these two off because I think those three for me for this specific form is perfect. Now we are good to go as far as the customizing of the form within the digest email. Now, of course, keep in mind, this is just for this specific form. You're going to want to go to each form and edit it to look how you want it to look. I'm going to go ahead and move this one back up to the top because I want to see this one first. Now, let's go ahead and send a test email so we can see what this looks like in our email. All right, that test email has been sent. Let's head to my email. All right, so here is my daily digest. We can see that title right up here, daily digest, and we get our daily digest date, which is today. And now we have the total number of new submissions right here within that last period. And then of course, my most popular form, which is the catalog request. And then we get into each specific form. We have the view submissions. If I want to go straight to my table, we have the number of new submissions, the total number of submissions, and then we get into our charts and then those percentages. And then we have the data of each specific person. And if we scroll down, we can see the same thing. Here's our second form. We have the person who filled it out, their email, that signature, because this specific form has a signature filled. And then under my picture attachments, I can see that I had three people fill it out. And then I have her file upload right there. Now, after seeing your daily digest test email, if there are any changes that you need to make, we can come back to this right here make any changes as needed. And again, if we need to change when we receive it, how often we can come back up here to this gear and make that change as well. Now, if you love the way that your digest email looks, we're gonna come right down here to the very bottom and create digest. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to create your new digest email, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.